In this next section, I want to show how the New York Times and writer Caitlin Dickinson uh, ended up calling the parents of a girl who was sexually assaulted, raped, because there's penetration, we'll talk about that in a second, uh, liars. And they do it as part of their smear. It says here, Stranahan thrived in the void of facts. He was granted an interview with the victim's family. Uh, and then he says, uh, offered little more information than others had, uh, but far more inaccuracies according to the police and the county prosecutor. And then uh, I call it horrifying rape. Now let's go over what these details are. I want you to read this story. I'm going to link to it. This is the story that I wrote. Exclusive five-year-old girl's victim saw a video of the Twin Falls rape. And I'm going to skip down, but read the whole interview yourself. And then listen to the audio down here. My interview with Steve Bannon on this. Let's just go over why I said what I said. The victim's father said, I know there was a lot more that happened that was told to me by the prosecutor who'd watched the video. More after that, he went back to her. This is one of the boys. Tried doing the front, oral sex with one, oral with her. He shoved it in her mouth. The victim's mother said, which is considered a rape. This is what I was going on. He peed all over her in her mouth, on her body, her face, and head. Now, are the parents lying to me here? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? This is what was reported. I have this audio, Caitlin. I have this audio, New York Times. You're doing exactly what I say down here, the mainstream media did. You're attacking the parents. Now, remember, this is an adjudicated case. You're trying to say that I overhyped this incident. How do you sleep at night, New York Times? How do you sleep at night, Caitlin? 